Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. How was your vacation? It's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Could you it's... rest on your vacations? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> no, you didn't rest? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. Let's see. Let's see. I can see only two cameras on. Where are the other ones? I want to see you guys. Very good. I can see more people now. Excellent. All right. Welcome to the class, everybody. I can see some people already. Very good. Okay. Well, welcome to the new level, Intermediate 5. Congratulations. Very good. Very good. Okay. Some of you uh, were with me in the previous level, but I know that some of you uh, weren't with me. So for the people who don't know me, my name is Clarissa and I will be your teacher in this level intermediate five. So nice to meet you, everybody. I'm here to help you. Every time that you have a question, you can tell me and I will be happy to help you. Uh, if you feel that a topic is difficult, if you want to review a topic that for you is difficult too, you can tell me, and I can take some minutes in some classes in order to review that topic, okay? So let's see, let's see. Thank you for the ones who has the camera on already. Very good. I can see Edwin Quinteros. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was how your vacation? You? I'm great. And how was your vacation? So my vacation was beautiful because I stayed with my family and I went out with my friends to play ball or bolche. Okay. Yes. Very good, sounds That's good. It. Excellent, nice. I can see Cifrido Gomez, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm great, Good's thanks fine. for asking. And how was your vacation? Uh, what's pretty funny? Um, I have only a couple of the applications, but I spend some time with my family and friends. Nice, that's excellent. Who else? Who else has the camera on? Bodies, how are you, bodies? Hi, thank you, teacher. How was your vacation, bodies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only visit visited my 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 mother. Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay. All right. But that's good. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I can see Carlos Mejivar. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Everything fine. Thank you. Very good. And how was your vacation, Carlos? Um, to be honest, I didn't do anything special. I have to work, so it's oh. the day of day. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you. Very good. I can see Pamela. How are you, Pamela? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? So far, so good. Thanks for asking. How was your vacation? Well, it was pretty good. I rested a lot. <laughs> I slept a lot. <laughs> and, and I spent time with my family. That's great. That is important. Good for you. And let's see who else. Ah, Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? So far, 
are so good. And you? Okay, I can explain. I'm fine. <laughs> Great. And your vacations? Uh, I can explain also because uh, I read uh, enough time. Hmm, okay, yes. pretty good. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. For the ones who don't, please keep the camera on, okay? So we can see each other. Well, we are starting a new level. Okay, we are starting the level intermediate five. Okay, I know again, some of you already know me, um, but some of you maybe don't. But again, everybody, I'm here to help you. Um, I really want you to improve your English skills. I really want you to learn. So any questions that you may have, if you need help with something, please just let me know. Okay, I'm here to help you. Now let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentations. Let's see, let's see. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Yes, can you see it? Yes. 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 yes Excellent. Can. Okay, pretty good. So today is August 9th, and this is basically some of the rules. I know that some of you already know the rules, but this is just a reminder. Remember, guys, that you have to keep the camera on during the whole class. With the camera on, you prove that you are here in the class. That proves that you are participating, that you are active, in the class. That's why camera on is important, okay? Um, also remember that I need you to write your full name on Zoom, okay? Full name exactly as in your Dewey, okay? Names and last names. So if you don't have the full name on your profiles here on Zoom, I need you please to change the name, please and write it as in your doing. For example, let me see, right now I can see, hmm, a lot of people already has a full name, very good. But I can see some people with only one name and only one last name. So please change it, please. Kevin, Perez, Alexis, Amanda, Andrea, please change your name, Osman. Change your name, Cifrido Gomez, also please. I need you guys to write full names on your profiles. Exactly as in your doing, that's the name that you need to write here on Zoom. Because that is the way that we are going to check attendance too, okay? Also guys, <clears throat> remember that uh, in the attendance, attendance is important, okay? I need that you do a lot of effort Okay, to complete the attendance, I need 100%, okay? Um, that's include to be connected every single day and to be connected the full class. That means 120 minutes, not 100 minutes, not only one hour. You have to be connected the two hours, okay? So that's the way that you are going to have the amount of percentage in your attendance. I'm going to check attendance twice in the class at the beginning and almost at the end. So please, you have to be connected so I can verify your participation in the class. Remember that this is intermediate level, so no Spanish. I know that sometimes this is difficult, especially when we don't know the vocabulary, when we don't find the words, but we need to try, okay? If you don't remember the words, try to search for synonyms or something. And of course, I will help you with this. Um, in my classes, I always try to have a lot of speaking activities. In every single class, I try to include um, speaking activities. 
So everybody, I really want you to participate. In every single class, I want you to be willing to participate, okay? I know that some of you sometimes say, teacher, I'm going to be a listener because of this and this and this. And I totally understand. But the more you practice, the more that you will learn. So please, every single class, try to be willing to participate. And the evaluation system, remember guys that the minimum score that you need to get is 80%. That means that in the platform and on the exams and the homeworks, the minimum score that you can get is 80%, okay? If you have issues with the platform, if you imagine that you find an exercise that is difficult, that you don't know the answer, you don't know what to do, you can tell me and I will help you with that. You can take the screenshot, send it on WhatsApp's group, and I will help you to resolve that, um, that exercise, okay? So basically, those are the class rules. Do you have any questions about it? Is it clear or any question? Uh, I can understand the last one. It's in Spanish. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. I just copy and paste from the previous level but no, yeah no <laughs> this is about homeworks okay i'm going to translate it 80 percent in the total score and homeworks and evaluations got it any other questions that you may have it's okay thank you you're welcome anyone else is it clear guys the attendance is it clear the rules this is something, guys, that you have to remember every single day, please, okay? So please be responsible with this. Remember that you are being evaluated by people from Insafor. So you need to keep in mind these rules, especially because remember that every single class is being recorded. So in the recorded, you can see, uh, well, People from Insafor can see if you are participating, if you keep the camera on, if you have the full names, your attendance, okay? So please try to be responsible. No questions so far? Okay, well, before starting with the topic that we have for today, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, please say present. Um, let's Amanda Zamora. Present. Very good, thank you. Um, Ana Lorena. No, okay. Boris Alexander. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto. No. Okay. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulise Torres. Oh, his listener. Okay. Irma Evelyn. Sorry, uh, teacher, about Evelyn, she's my uh, co uh, co worker. Okay. So she's sick already. Oh, okay. Thanks yes. for telling me, Amanda. Thank you. She she got her a COVID test today, so we are expecting the response. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I hope that she's fine and she Thank doesn't you. have the, the COVID. Yeah, guys, be careful, please. Always wear your face masks. That is important. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Kevin Alexander. Kevin Alexander. Okay. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. K 
Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Maria Jose. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, is there someone that I didn't mention? Or I mentioned to everyone? Okay. Andrea Jamilet. Okay, let me verify. Yeah, I don't have your name in my attendance. Okay. So you are in the intermediate five, yes? Yes. Okay, no worries. I'm going to include your names and then we are going to see what's why you are not here in this attendance. Okay, thank you. Uh, your last name is Mendoza? Alvarado. Alvarado. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to find out why your name is not here in my attendance. No worries. All right. Well, everybody, let me start sharing the presentation again. And we are going to start with the topic that we had for today. Now, um, we are starting basically our week number one. This is the unit number one. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes? Yes, it is. It. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, the topics that we are going to study today is differentiate advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce, okay? Do you remember, this is something that we talked in the previous classes. So do you remember the e-commerce? Yes, what is that? What comes to your mind when we talk about e-commerce? Uh, an online store online stores yes is that something positive or negative what do you think teacher in, in this model we can touch the product mm, do you think if we are talking about online stores can we touch it no right so well, we can see it we can see it, yes. So we are going to study that. Some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages, okay? This is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Class objective at the end of the class participant will learn vocabulary related to e-commerce e and will de develop 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 their own ideas about their advantage and disadvantage disadvantage okay ideas ideas about the advantages about the advantages and disadvantages. And disadvantages. That is the one, very good. Exactly, so that is basically what we are going to do. So the idea guys is that in this class we can practice speaking and also we are going to practice writing. But let's start guys with some speaking as I mentioned in every single class, I want you to talk. So I have these questions over here related to the e-commerce. And I wanted to discuss these questions with your classmates. We are going to go to the breakup rooms and we are going to answer these questions with our classmates. For example, 
When was the last time you purchased something online? Do you remember everyone? A week ago. <laughs> A week ago. Yeah, so, week. <laughs> and what did you buy? Um some uh, tips for my capacity pen of my it's my tablet pen. <laughs> ah, okay. And you guys? In my case, uh, I bought uh, a bed for my pet. Oh, that's good. Anyone else, guys? When was the last time? Do you remember? No? All right. Well, we are going to discuss these questions on the breakup rooms. Please, everybody, I want to everybody enter to the breakup rooms and everybody participate. I want you to talk. So I'm going to send these questions on WhatsApp's group so you can see the questions over there. Is everybody on WhatsApp's group already? Yes? Yes, I am there. Yeah. Okay, pretty good. Okay, I'm sending the questions. Give me one second. Let's see, let's see. And we are going to enter to the breakup rooms and discuss the questions, please. Again, I want to everybody enter to the breakup rooms. If you are in a group alone or nobody is talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Okay, let's see, give me a second. Okay, pretty good. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? Yes. Remember, full English, zero Spanish. Let's go to work. I'm okay. I'm right. Uh, I'm relaxed. What about you, Andrea? Are you new here, right? Yes, I'm new. Yes, it's my first uh, class. Okay, nice to see you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you both. Okay. Uh, uh, we can we can speak okay. about the, the, about the 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 question, right? Yeah. Yes. When, when was the last time you purchased something online, Nelson? Um, for me, this week. <laughs> this week. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you purchase? On Monday. Yeah, I bought a, a smartwatch. Really? Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I like when I saw I saw in the store and I thought I I want it <laughs> and <Yeah>. I bought. <laughs> okay, okay. What about you, Andre? Uh, Andre what about you? Okay. Yes. Uh, was um last week uh I purchased something for a skincare. And I bought it through Amazon. Uh, it's good, it's good. In my case, uh, I don't remember when was the last time I purchased something. I don't remember. Uh, almost always I I I I, I don't purchase purchase uh, online. I don't like okay. Okay. you don't like. <laughs> Uh, the, the the true it's not it's not it's not usually for me because I prefer buy something in, in person. Uh, I don't, I don't you, know. you you don't 
you maybe don't trust in the e-commerce? Yes, uh, I, I agree uh, with you because uh, when I when I when I going to buy something, uh, I prefer uh, go to the store, uh, watch the 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 product, touch, uh, evaluate the quality. Uh, I don't know. It's preferred. You, you, pre you prefer, uh, yes, prefer sense the the object. I prefer uh, this model. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. okay. Uh, number, uh, number, uh, number two. We two. had Anna too. We had Anna. Anna, welcome. Anna, Anna, Anna welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't, didn't see. Okay, Anna, Anna what are you I can't hear you. Hello, Anna? No. Don't hear you, Anna. Sorry. Okay. No. Okay, uh, number, <laughs> uh, what sentence we are? Number two. Number, Number two. two. What, what do, do you, you like about on... shopping online? Yeah. Because sometimes, uh, uh, oh, they are recording us. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that's right because I sometimes prefer to go, especially when you are buying um things for your uh kitchen uh you need to to check the the size and to measure the if if it fits where you want to put it <laughs> yeah. so you need you really need to go in person to see it <laughs> yes um we can continue to the next question i think what products do you prefer to shop online for Mm. Um. Oh. No, I I can answer that. Oh, in your case, I think is uh, pet pet things. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, in my case, I usually buy um, accessories for my smart things like phone and table that. I, I forget how to pronounce tablet. <laughs> tablet like that. Tablet, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I was about to say table. <laughs> no, 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 no way. Well, uh, someone else <laughs> want to share something <laughs> with us? Uh -huh. yes. Edwin, Guzman. Hello, teacher. Hi, I'm here just to listen to you guys. Um, okay. I feel really um mm, I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> about that, but it's nah, okay. <laughs> don't be. Okay, uh-huh. Guzman, Atilia. Question number four. Or Edwin? Because, um I don't know. Uh, the product I preferred uh, it depends. If I, if I can't find the El Salvador, I prefer shopping outside from other country. Yeah, sometimes um, shopping something, some shopping things out of the country is more cheap than uh, buying yes. here. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, what do you what, what I will say this number six question what are some of the most popular online shopping websites um someone knows some popular online shopping websites yeah. Amazon is the best Amazon eBay uh -huh. will be um, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Market. <laughs> 
Marketplace ka, sakli. OLX, OLX. OLX. I don't know if it exists because I think they changed some okay. kind of product. So, I think I prefer online. Okay, so, and now the five. What are the benefits of shopping, of, of online shopping, sorry? Uh, for me, the benefits is, I already said like two times, I have I could be in my house and just watching promotions and things like that and just click on a button and I already have it. Oh, well, I have to wait some like two or three days to arrive to, arrive to my home, but it's easier. Uh, I guess it's easier. Well, it's for me, uh, you can go out of your house or you can only be by patience to wait two, three days or for some kind of products a week or a month. It depends from where, do you, where you are purchasing from. And also... Um, uh, for me, sorry. <laughs> for me, no sometimes it's... Uh, more offers and sometimes more cheaper than other place and in physical a uh, store probably for me I don't agree with you and also for the sixth question what are some of the most popular online shopping websites? You can mention one, Amazon. Do you know some, you know, some other site? I know eBay. Um, even uh, some of the stores in El Salvador used to have also e-commerce e e sales, you know, but e e e I can uh, online shopping, that's the 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 what I wanted to say, um, but eBay and I don't know there are a lot even super selectors are already a uh, uh, online shopping you know. <laughs> what about you, Maria? Do you know any online shopping website? Mm, honestly, I. Mm. I don't use a another a page to buy, but a for several is is um more popular a marketplace. Yes, <laughs> where it's it's an old school man. It's yeah. fine. It's <laughs> uh, it's great. I I think it's really cool. I found the the, the school ball. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Alexis? Uh, I prefer? I prefer I prefer go to shop to shops to mails. I don't like uh, buy things in internet because it can get something I don't want to. It might be something different than uh, what I'm looking for. Okay, yes, you have to take the, the risk <laughs> to shop something <laughs> online. You, you don't know if, if, if it's right what are you are seeing on the, on the online shop, but you have to take the risk. <laughs> So we have a new era in old school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next question is, what products do you prefer to shop online for? Mm. I think I the think cheaper the ones. <laughs> the cheaper ones. The cheaper one. Yeah. When you okay. when you when you when you see 
something cheaper is better than it on, better get it online. You have a yes, than, the, than the mall. When you see a, a sale on sale. <laughs> uh -huh. Like a pair of boots in, in marketplace, they around twenty twenty five dollars in in a dog. <laughs> in a dog, they are like one hundred dollars. Yes, when when you when you find a a, a a good offer, okay, that that's great. I think that I sh that I shop. Um, I buy a lot of food online, <laughs> so maybe that's the product that I that I buy online. And what about you, Amanda? I love catch all offers and a specific online offers because sometimes <laughs> you have, for example, I love manguinians. I don't know if you know about manguinians. What from Gecko? Gecko? Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sometimes they have the manguinialas in an special offer of the one dollar or ninety nine cents, just. In, really? Uh, <laughs> I want some. I don't remember the uh, app. It's not you, Uber. It's... Uh, Pe pedidos, ya. Yeah. Pedidos, ya. Yeah. No. Yes. Del libro. Yes. They really? just have offer in pedidos, ya. Yeah. If you go to store directly, you have the manguinada for a near of $5. Okay. And they have... Yes, the, they uh, only put it in the, in the app. Yes, they put the the offers for an specific hours. For example, uh, oh. they advise about mangonias at uh, just for one dollar, for example, or one that ninety nine, uh, just from the two for fourteen, for example. Okay, but it's a crazy. Okay, thing. yes, <laughs> yes, you, you, I agree with you. You, you have to. To shop when you find a good offer. <laughs> that that's a great idea. Okay, and the next question. Well, uh, I can use uh, use it for this reason. But AliExpress have a advantage that uh, they uh, return the money when the bulk. Are not uh, good or uh, are not coming. Okay. Okay. Nelson? Yeah, sadly. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I bought uh, a product and the product never arrived. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really? the country. Yeah, you were, you, you were in long time, and the product never arrived. <laughs> mm, I spent two months. Two months. Yeah, wow. and That's when fun. I I go to see, I went to see product tracking. Uh, mm -hmm. The product was deliver delivered to Panama. Panama. And <laughs> my face uh, is look like what? Time's up. We are going to go back to the main room. Time's up everyone. Let's go back. Let's wait for everybody. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right. Let's see, let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay. Easy or difficult, the questions, what do you think? Mm, difficult to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What we buy it. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Let's see. Did you answer all the questions? 
Yes, in my group, we did it. Excellent. And you guys, could you answer all the questions? Yes. In our face, teacher. Yes. You did it. Yes, we finished our all questions. Excellent. Oh, Very good. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, the miss one. Okay. Uh, one. Only uh, one. Yes, we we complete only seven sentences. Okay, so far so good. The rest of you guys, could you answer all of the questions? He only ans answer six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, listen, I was listening to the groups and something that I like is that you were trying to give a lot of details. Remember guys that the idea to go to the breakup rooms and talk is basically that to talk. I know that some of you maybe don't have the opportunity to talk in English during the day. So here in the class is the opportunity that you have to practice your speaking, okay? I saw in some groups, there were some people that didn't participate. Um, listen to me guys, remember that we are a team, okay? We have to help each other. So if you see that in your breakup room, there is a student that is not talking, that is not participating, always ask and say, hey, come on, fulanito, right? Uh, let's try to participate. What is your opinion? Do you have an answer? Do you want to say something? Because remember that sometimes <laughs> in some groups, we can have people that they can feel a little shy, okay? So maybe they don't want to talk. So we need to help each other to push and say, hey, come on, let's participate. You can do it. Tell me your opinion. What is your answer? Okay? Always help each other. Now, um, little details that we need to consider in the answers. Um, let's see. Let me show you some of the answers that I was listening. For example, look at this one. More cheap. Can I say that? More cheap? Cheaper. No, cheaper. It's not ah, cheaper. Very good. Remember, comparative adjectives. We cannot say more cheap. The correct one is... Cheaper. 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 Okay? Um, can I say, I prefer buy? Do. I prefer ah, to buy. Remember that in English, we cannot put two verbs together. So we need to separate them. I prefer to buy. I prefer, I prefer go. go. This same, I prefer to go, to go. Exactly, I prefer to go. So don't forget that, we need to separate the verbs. Now let me interview you. Now that you practice the questions, I will ask you. Let me see, let me ask. I will start asking the one with the camera off. Oh because I want to see if they are paying attention. Um, Wilber Alberto. Hello, Wilber. Are you there? Yes, teacher, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wilber, when was the last time that you purchased something online? Well, uh, really, I don't remember. Really? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because I I was explaining in general uh, to my co to my classmates uh, that I prefer go uh, physical. Ah. Okay. Yes. Yes, but uh, uh, it doesn't mean I cannot uh, buy it online. Uh, you prefer the other stores. I I rather prefer. Yes, I rather go go uh, physical. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Let's see, Wilbur, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Um, Salvador. Okay, hello, Salvador. Are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm here. Um, so, so. So, so. So tell me, Salvador, what do you like about shopping online? Uh, 
I I don't buy clothes online. Oh, you don't like to buy online. Why? I prefer to buy in physical. Mm, okay. So why? Why do you prefer to go to the stores instead of use the e-commerce? Excuse me, teacher. Why? Why do you prefer to go to the store instead of buying online? I is safe safety. Safer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good point. Thank you, Salvador. Now, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Elias Neptali. Okay, Elias, I think he's a listener. Lorena? Lorena, okay, hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. So, Lorena, do you prefer to shop online or in person? Maybe the pair of the product because some product uh, uh, I need to try. For example, clutters or um, some electronic device. But uh, also, um, it's a good idea buy in other country a product that I can found find um here mm, that's a good point and if you see guys those are some of the advantages of the e-commerce right that we can find products or you can buy products from another countries that you cannot find here in el salvador very good okay anna can you pick one of your classmates please Maria Jose. All right. Hello, Maria Jose. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I think so. <laughs> All right. Maria Jose, tell me, what are some of the benefits of online shopping? What do you think? Um, I told my partner for me, um, probably it will be more cheaper. And um, sometimes is uh, for the time the um, some some uh, sometimes I I don't have time to go to the physical store and maybe it's more benefits. Uh, to shop online it's it's like faster yes it's more but, faster mm -hmm. that's one of the benefits very good okay Thank you. Because, because of the time pick your last classmate please one more um so let me see mm -hmm. um oscar alexis all right hello oscar Hello. Okay, Oscar, have you ever had a bad experience shopping online? Uh, no, because I have I, <laughs> I have shopped uh, just one I have bought one one last one last time. So you didn't have any bad experience? No, 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 I got no experience. Oh, okay, good for you. Anyone here, guys, have you ever had a bad experience shopping online? Me. <laughs> okay, Kevin, go ahead. I bought some I bought something on the Chinese web Chinese website named um, AliExpress. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like uh, two years ago and it didn't arrive yet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah. Was it expensive? No, not too much. Okay. Well, maybe one day 
it will arrive. <laughs> yeah. If you see, those are some of the disadvantages of buying online. So that is basically, guys, what we are going to discuss today. Some advantages and some of the disadvantages. Now that you already practiced some of the speaking questions, let's practice some of the vocabulary. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. We are talking about e-commerce. So this is the definition. Volunteer for reading the definition, please. Uh, Amanda? Okay, Amanda lift her, her hand first. Thank you. Go ahead. E-commerce definition, the buying and selling of products and service over the internet. Thank you. So that basically, guys, that's the definition. When we buy products or sell product, but everything is online, basically on internet, okay? And of course, there are some advantages and disadvantages. And we are going to study that little by little. Now, we are going to practice reading but before that, let's check some vocabulary that we are going to find in the reading. And let's see, the first word is handcraft. Hand Do, you know the Do you know the meaning for this word? Um, people, DIY, DIY things. I'm sorry? Right. DIY things, like people making- Made it with hand. a hand. Exactly. Are those products that people do with their own hands? Okay. For example, when you go to some towns and you can see some souvenirs, you know, and you can buy them and you can see that they did it with their own hands. Pretty good. Then we have farmer market. What is that? Any idea? Farmer's market. Mm. It's about the food, the organic food. Ah, very good. Exactly. Those are the products from a farm. Okay. For example, there are some organic food, some eggs, vegetables, fruits, everything related to the farm. Farms. Okay. Then we have countryside. What is that, guys? Any idea? Countryside, mm, no idea. <laughs> okay, anyone? Have you ever heard this word, countryside? Countryside. Okay. It's a place outside to the center, the downtown. Exactly. For example, guys, we have the city, right? The opposite of the city is a country. Side. So countryside is basically when we are talking about the rural area. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if we are talking about uh, um, San Salvador, San Salvador is a city or is the countryside? A city. Exactly, is the city. But if you go out of the city, you can find different towns that they are in the country side. Now, let me ask you, do you prefer to live in the city or in the countryside? In the countryside. <laughs> in the countryside? And you guys? Depends, depends. Wow. In the city. <laughs> in the city, ah. In the city, any, any, anything is next to you, but in the countryside, it's so difficult to find something. That's true. There are some advantages and disadvantages. In the city, everything seems like to be closer. So what are some of the benefits of the countryside? The weather. The weather. Yeah, the weather. The, the silent. The peace. <laughs> the the peace. Peace. There's a lot of silence. <laughs> That's true. The hey, amazing views. I don't know. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Okay. And the traffic. Yes or yeah, no? Yeah, traffic. <laughs> Los chorros. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely. Okay, then we have the word drawbacks. What is that? Drawbacks. Have, you ever, mm -hmm, have you ever heard that word? Problems. Yes. 
drawbacks is like a synonym of problems, inconvenience, okay? And the last one, disappointed. Disappointed is an adjective. What is the meaning of disappointed? Mm -hmm. You are not proud about that. Mm -hmm. Basically, or guys. Disagree. Uh, um, basically, is when you are you not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In simple or... words, it's like when you are not happy with the result, right? Yeah, or, or maybe you have unexpected issues. Mm -hmm. Correct. Imagine that, for example, you go to your job, you feel very happy because you will arrive on time, but suddenly you find a lot of traffic. <laughs> so how do you feel? As every day. It's As every like, like every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you will feel very disappointed. disappointed. Okay. So is it clear the vocabulary, everybody? Yeah. Um, can, yeah. Can, can we repeat um, the pronunciation of handicraft? That's the one, handicraft. Oh, okay. Yes. Because I, I didn't hear the E. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm asking. <laughs> okay. Now, everybody, is it clear? Any other question? Did you copy the vocabulary? Copy the vocabulary because remember, guys, the more vocabulary that you have, the more that you will be able to speak, okay? Now, we are going to read a conversation and this conversation is about Lucas. And Lucas is telling Saul about his plans to open a e-store. What do you think? What is the meaning of a e-store? An online shop. Online, that's correct. So, he wants to open an e-store to sell his handcraft. Take turns. I want to some volunteers for reading this conversation. So who wants to read? I would like to try. Thank you, Wilbur. You will be Lucas. Someone else, please. I would like to be so. Very good. Excellent. Let me open up the uh, dialogue on your manuals. Remember, guys, if you have your manuals, this information is on the page nine okay so here we go can you start please oh, no. my friend and i would like to start an e-commerce b website for our handicraft okay. they sell well at the farmers market but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside i see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platforms, and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly, that's exactly what we need, but are there any backgrounds, drawbacks to these e-commerce things? Well, you may want to let a different company uh, handle the shipping and the storage of your products. Then there, the risk and shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make consumers disappointed. Thank you. Very good. Did you pay attention to the reading, guys? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's see if it is true. There are some questions over here. The first question, volunteer for reading, question number one. Why Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Thank you. So guys, according to the reading, what is the answer? Why? Why does he want to start the e-store? Because Lucas wants uh, want to sell Hen handicraft mm -hmm. is his handicraft yes i don't know Only that. but he wants to sell uh to the people that are out of the country ah now that is important imagine guys that you have a product and you have the store the people who live near to your store they can buy it but what about the people that live far 
they cannot buy it. They cannot go to your store. So that's why Lucas wants to open the e-store. He wants to sell the product, right? To the people that they cannot visit the store because they live far. Very good. Question number two, volunteer for reading, please. What are two advantages of e-commerce? Thank you. Okay, according to the reading. Uh -huh. You can buy products 24 seven. Ah, very good. Look at this, guys. This is one of the most important advantages or benefits of the e-commerce. If you go to Amazon website right now, can you buy a product? Yes or no? Yes. 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 If you go, if you try to buy something on Christmas that is a day off, do you think that you will be able to do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it doesn't matter the day, it doesn't matter the time. You will be always able to buy the product. That is one of the advantages. Another one? You will you are able to compare products and prices. Very good. Look, you can see the products, you can compare the prices, and you can see if it is convenient or not. Okay? That's one of the most important advantages. The last question, volunteer for reading. Only what one. are two the what? <laughs> uh -huh. Continue, continue. Me. <laughs> yes. What are two disadvantages of e-commerce? All right. We already named the advantages. So now tell me the disadvantages according to the reading. Risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions. Ah, very good. So you can receive the product on time, yes, but maybe sometimes, guys, you will have the disappointing situation that the product will be in bad conditions. That is a risk. Another disadvantage? Like not my <laughs> Let, like Kevin said, right? Maybe the product will never arrive, right? And unfortunately, imagine what can you do there? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you can call customer service and maybe some of the stores have that department and they can help you with that. But some of the companies, they don't offer that service and probably the product will never arrive. So those are some of the risks that you have. And those are some of the disadvantages, okay? And lose your money. Yes. And you can lose your money. Imagine, guys, that you paid a lot of for a product and the product never arrived. I mean, it's a risk, yeah? So yeah. those are some of the disadvantages, unfortunately. Or Pretty good. Bought on iPhone and you receive on uh, rock. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen, yes. Remember guys that we have all kind of stores, right? There are some e-stores that they are more um, professionals, we are calling like that. But there are some other stores that, I mean, <laughs> we never know, right? So you have to be <laughs> careful with it. Pretty good, okay, is it clear? The reading, yes? Yes. Yes. Everybody? Okay, pretty good. Now let's continue. There are some vocabulary that you can find in your manual in the page 10. Okay, I have these terms. These terms are related to the e-commerce. And I have here the definition. So I want you guys to match the words with the definitions. For example, selection. Read the definition and you have to tell me, what do you think? What is selection? If you think the selection is, ah, oh, when a website offer a product for sales. Okay, you have to write the number one. If you think, no, selection is the desire to experience. Okay, you can write the number one here. Okay, 
match the definitions with these terms. You will have five minutes to do it. You can do it in your notebooks. And we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Is it clear, the activity? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes. Okay, guys, you have five minutes. Go it's ahead. Clear. Excellent. Okay, five minutes. Go. If you have a question, just let me know. And I don't understand the number four infinite shelves. Uh, shelves. Infinite, infinite shelves. Shelves. Have you ever seen that word, guys? No. Shelves. Yes. What is that? Mm, <clears throat> where you put the? No, I I I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Infinite uh, shelves is. For example, <clears throat> uh, the place when you put some objects. I will show you a picture, but I need to stop sharing. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this picture. Um, let me share the screen. Look, these are shelves. Like some places when you can put or organize different stuff. Is it okay. clear? Yes? Now it's clear, yes. Excellent, pretty good. And the, and the next one, number five, brick <laughs> and mortar. I don't know. Ah. Okay, brick is mortar. <laughs> and mortar. <laughs> so in this case, guys, the definition, the idea is that the definitions can give you an idea. So mm -hmm. if you are talking about mortal, mm, if you are talking about brick, what comes to your mind? What would it be? Read the definitions, try to find it out without translating. I see it. <laughs> Do you find it out? Yes. Excellent, pretty good, pretty good. Breathe carefully, guys. Remember that the idea for these exercises is to find the keywords. It's not necessary to translate everything, but just to understand the keywords, okay? Two more minutes. Continue, please. And we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Two more minutes. Okay. All right, everybody, did you finish? Yes. Yes, all of you guys? Yes. Okay, I will be asking individually, so we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. So let me see. 
Let me ask. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's see. Osman Enrique. Hello, Osman. Hello, teacher. Okay, Osman. Selection. What do you think? What is that? Selection for me is. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Let me see. Having a, a wider range of product from which customer can choose. Hmm, interesting. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another idea? Um, number um, the virtually unlimited extent and range of products. Yeah, the same. Hmm, okay. Anyone? Do you agree with your classmate, or do you have another idea? I agree with Hosman. Okay, well, the correct answer is selection, having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. If you pick this answer, guys, that's the correct one. One point from me, teacher. <laughs> yes, you have one point. Very good job. Yes. Okay, Osman, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, okay, let me see. Uh, Oscar Alexis. Thank you. Okay, Oscar. Instance gratification. What is that? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Number two. Uh, instant gratification. I think is the desire to experience ful fulfillment without delay. Hmm, okay. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another opinion? I agree. You agree? I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Are you sure? Oops. <laughs> yes, that's the one. So extra point for Alexis, too. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Alexis, pick one of your classmates, please. And let's see. Um, Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. Deals. What is that? Deals. Um, it's when a website offers products for sale. Okay, everybody, do you agree with her or do you have another idea? I agree. I agree. I agree. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> That's the one. So extra point for Pamela. Pamela, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Sifrido. Okay, thank you, Sifrido. Number four, please. Hello. Sorry, I was talking to mute. Um, <laughs> okay, for me, infinite the shelves is a virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e commerce stores. Okay, do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. Definitely. Very good job. And basically, the last one, right? We have brick and moral stored. What is that? Volunteer for reading the definition. A traditional business that deals with its customers face-to-face -face in an office or store. Very good, excellent. So guys, how many correct answers did you have? Only four. <laughs> Only four, okay. And you guys? All of them. All of them, pretty good. Now, if you want to talk about um, shopping online, we can say e-store. But if we are talking about the physical stores, what is the name? Brick and mortar. Brick and mortar store. So which one do you prefer? Brick and mortar store or e-stores? It depends. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both depends of what? Depends the of time. <laughs> mm, okay. 
the kind of the product the kind of product yes depends on how much time you have mm -hmm. and how many time you want to to wait <laughs> <laughs> yes definitely that's true very All good right. <laughs> If you want to spend your whole life waiting. <laughs> Boy and <Yeah>. AliExpress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is it clear the vocabulary? Yes. All right. Now, guys, talking about these um, always e-commerce, we have some advantages and some disadvantages. As your classmate already mentioned some of them. We have here, this information, guys, is also in your manual in the page 10. We have different options over here. I have six statements. And these statements are describing advantages or disadvantages. What I want you to do right now is I want you to decide which of these statements are advantages and which one do you consider that are disadvantages? For example, in the number one, more reach to, uh, to customers that are no geographic limitations. So in your own opinion, is this an advantage or is that a disadvantage? There are no geographic limitations. Hmm. Advantage. advantage. Okay, if you think that is an advantage, you have to write the letter A. A. But if your opinion is no, I think that this is a disadvantage, okay, you need to write the letter D. Okay, I will give you three minutes to complete this task. And then we are going to discuss this with our classmates. And we are going to see if your classmates agree or not with your answer, okay? You have three minutes, guys, go ahead.
All right, did you finish everyone? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, the rest of you, everybody, did you finish? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, again, I'm going to ask individually. Let me start. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Okay, Nelson, number one, is that advantage? or disadvantage what do you think uh, an advantage hmm, interesting why because uh, i can buy from stores in uh, around the world mm -hmm. and i can reach uh, the product uh, anywhere Okay, sounds good. That's a good point. How about you guys? Do you agree with Nelson? I agree. Yes? Yes. I agree. Okay, pretty good. So imagine, guys, when we are talking about e-commerce, as your classmate said, you can buy things from other countries. So basically, some online stores, they can reach more customers, right? Because imagine we are in El Salvador, but you can buy things from the United States. You can buy things from even China. Imagine that is on the other side of the world. Very good. Nelson, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Osman? Osman, number two, can you read it, please? Okay, Osman. Uh, anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. So, for you, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? For me, it's a disadvantage. Disadvantage? For me? Mm -hmm. Why? Because is the no good uh or good planification the the activity the the business because our or good or bad uh, uh business um depend the the the, the preparation in mm -hmm. the and the website and the offer uh, deals pardon sorry uh, um, deals and offer uh and um, marketing digital. Because it's important uh, for good uh, for good business, and for me it is advantage and, and good or bad. Hmm, okay, that's a good point. How about you guys? Do you agree or disagree? Disadvantage no. or disadvantage? I agree. Is a disadvantage? Um, yeah, it's a disadvantage because uh, uh, people can be scammers or be professionals, like you said before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah imagine guys i mean there are bad people that they can just open or start a e-store and they are fake right they are not true so in the end they can lie and they will st uh, steal your money right M maybe it's a disadvantage for the customer but for the Sailor people that time. sell uh, is is good is advantage that's another point of view very good yes we as a customers for us can be a disadvantage for the points that we already mentioned but think about you as the business person it's something good you don't need a lot of things to start your business you don't need to buy a local you don't need to rent you don't need to do a lot of things that are very expensive that's a good point very good job okay Josman Atilio pick one of your classmates please okay uh Ernesto okay Ernesto number three can you read it please for sure, uh, customer loyalty is not always warranted. 
for me it's a disadvantage. Disadvantage, why? Uh, because you cannot, I don't know, say, I don't know how to say it, but you cannot keep your customer with yourself or loyalty to your business. So the customer has a lot of options and we can live and mm -hmm. we'll find a better option than you. So. Okay, that's a good point. What about you guys? Do you agree with him? I agree. Yes? Agree. Yes, I agree. Yes. Definitely, right? I mean, imagine in your city you have a bakery, for example. I mean, is the only bakery in your city? Ah, of course, you are going to have a lot of loyalty customers. But in the case of the e-stores, mm, they have a lot of options. They maybe cannot buy regularly. So it's very difficult to keep them very loyal to you. Pretty good. Okay, Ernesto, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, for sure. Um, Ricardo Ernesto. Okay. Ricardo, number four. Um, for number four, I pick... Um... I said it's an advantage. Can you read it, please? Oh, sorry. Low operational costs and better quality of services. Mm -hmm. Is that an advantage or disadvantage? For me, it's an ad advantage. Why? Uh, because of uh, it, it says because uh, the low operational costs, so the the um, my business business will be having less cost like like that and yeah better quality of <laughs> services definitely right i mean if you see guys you as the owner the cost will be lower than if you have a brick and mortar store so do you agree with your classmates or do you have another idea Yes, also we are uh, uh, environmental friendly with this option. Mm -hmm. What else? Amanda, I, I can hear you that you are breaking up. Yes, you, you can be environmental friendly with this option because you don't have a strong services and you can uh, avoid the energy uh, energy consume. Yes, that's true. So or yeah, or about the, the trash, the garbage. Yes, there are a lot of things that you don't need to pay for, right? So it is basically, guys, cheaper. There are a lot of deals, a lot of services that you don't have to pay for them. Pretty good job. Okay, Ricardo, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Carlos Mauricio. Thank you, Carlos, number five. Can you read it? Of course, easy to start and manage a business. So, what is that? Uh, for me, it's an advantage. Mm, okay, why? Uh, because uh, if I knew in the business, <laughs> it's easy to start. So, I don't have to go into uh, school, you can say that, mm -hmm. and, and make a new uh, e service. E -store. Very good. Do you agree, everybody? Uh -huh. yes. yes, I agree. I agree. Definitely, yes. right? I mean, imagine, guys, if it, in this moment you have a great idea about to sell some products online, you can easily start. <laughs> you just start taking some pictures of your products and upload them on internet, and that's all, right? It's not a big deal. It's basically pretty simple. Pretty good. Carlos, can you pick the last one? One of uh, one of your classmates, please. Um, Wilber Alberto. Thank you. Okay, Wilber, number six, can you read it? 
there are no sales when the website is down. Okay, what is that? It, this is a disadvantage. Okay, why? Uh, well, uh, who needs uh, to purchase such a product or service uh, through the website well, and the internet is down, you cannot do it. So Definitely. you need you need you need to go out, go out. Yes, that is one of the greatest disadvantages. What happens if the website is down? People cannot buy it, right? Your, or your income is decreased. Mm -hmm. Also, your, your customer get angry. Definitely. Maybe you lost some loyal customers. Immediately, imagine, guys, that some people are buying for the first time on your website and your website is down maybe they will never go back again right so they will say nah this website is not working it's not good so they will never come back so this is one of the greatest disadvantages pretty good another ideas guys another advantages or disadvantages that comes to your mind what do you think it could be also a disadvantage mm -hmm. because uh, because above if I'm a, if I answer the number five uh, and I see and I, how can I explain it we have our seniors they mm -hmm. have uh, a, a, their uh, commerce but they cannot use the website they cannot use the platform so uh, if you think about that. Uh, it is not a benefit for them. Very good point. And look at this, guys. As before, it depends on the point of view. Some of these ones can be great advantages for some people, but can be a great disadvantage for other people. As your classmate said, what happened with the seniors? I mean, if you talk to some people of 60 years old, maybe they are not so good with the technology, right? So for them, that can be a disadvantage. That's a good point. Another one, another advantage or disadvantage that comes to your mind, guys? What do you think? Maybe an advantage is that you can uh, buy in any hours uh, during the day. Very good, exactly. 24 hours, seven days of the week. Pretty good. Uh huh. What else? The most, most common uh, disadvantage are the loss of the feelings when you have relations or you can't, uh, uh, you can't see the face expressions, for example. You lose some social uh, social skills, for example. Yeah, that's true. Imagine, guys, if you go to a brick and mortar store, you can take your friends and say, "Hey, let's go buy something," and you are having fun. But online, I mean, you are alone at home and just clicking, and that's all, right? Yeah, Good well, to we're see talking you about. <laughs> uh huh. With the emotions, what we're talking about emotions is different. Uh huh. Someone else. Teacher, um, I think in a I is come as a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Um, if I if I need a product uh, right now for emergency 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 emergency, uh, in e-commerce uh, I I I can't this option. Be, be, because the product, uh, uh, I have wait a long time. Uh, the product arrived. Uh, compares uh, in a store, physical store, uh, I can go very fast and buy the product. Very good. That's another good point. The time, right? Time. So wait maybe time. we can find the product in the brick and mortal store immediately, right? But online, 
it can take some time. Very good job. Now, I know that you have a lot of ideas. And now, guys, we are going to practice writing. I want you guys to think about all of the advantages and disadvantages that comes to your mind. And we are going to write them. Okay? I want you to write a paragraph. I'm going to send a link. Uh, give me a second. Let me show you. Look at this. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. 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 yes it okay. Yes. In this website, you have to write your full names. Full names, please. Not only the name, no. Full names. And then you have to write a paragraph of 10 lines. Okay? At least. If you want to write more, I mean, do it. Or if you want to, or if you feel very inspired, do it, okay? I just want you to tell me all the ideas that comes to your mind, okay? I want you to write a paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of the e-commerce, okay? Important things that you have to consider, spelling, okay? Capital letters, punctuation. Remember, we are in the intermediate five so can i write can i start something like ah some of the advantages can i say like this can i start the paragraph like this no way no what do i need capital letter capital letter absolutely okay so be careful with that punctuations capital letters and spelling, okay? Be careful because when we are typing, sometimes we omit one letter or sometimes we omit a different a punctuation symbol. So be careful with that. Let's imagine that your answer will appear in a famous article and everybody will read it. So <laughs> be careful. When you finish, you just have to click in send and I will receive automatically your answers. And later we are going to read it here in the class. Got it? Is it clear the activity? Yes. Excellent. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm going to send it here on Zoom. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I already sent it here on WhatsApp, uh, on Zoom, I'm sorry. I'm sending it on WhatsApp too. Okay, <laughs> because it says that it's a paragraph of around 10 lines. Okay, I will give you 10 minutes, considering that you can write one sentence per minute. Okay, guys, um, open there, up the uh, link, yes. It's a problem if my um, form says another um, email. Oh, if on your laptop or cell phone you don't open your email, I think that you will need to add it. I said the form in order that you don't need to write an email, but if it is asking an email, you can write any email that you prefer. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, you have 10 minutes. Go ahead. Try to write the best ideas. Be careful with the writing. With be, uh, be careful with the spelling. Okay. When you finish, just click in send and I automatically will receive your answers. Go ahead.
remember, you will have 10 minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Be careful with the spelling, guys.
You have four more minutes. Four minutes, everyone. Remember, when you finish, you just click on send and I automatically will receive your answers. Don't forget to write your full names. Four minutes, hurry up. Two more minutes, two more minutes. If you finish, send your answers, guys. Let's start sending your answers. Be careful with the spelling. Be careful with the punctuations. Thirty seconds, everybody. So let's start sending your answers. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's start sending your paragraphs. We are going to check them here in the class. Send it, send it. Ten seconds. Click in send. Send your paragraph okay time's up okay thumbs up everybody send your answers please i can see 10 people already send the paragraph so please the rest of you guys send it 
I can see some people are very inspired. Very good. Okay. Meanwhile, everybody is finishing the paragraph. I'm going to send, uh, to check attendance one more time. So please, everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Zamora? Present. Very good. Ana Lorena? Present, teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander? Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Ernesto. Okay. Edwin, uh, I'm sorry, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. Present. Very good. Elias Neftali. Oh, his listener. Okay. Um, let's see. Eulise Torres, his listener too. Irma Evelyn. She's sick. Oh, yes, yeah, she's the one. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Um, let me add the comment. Give me a second, guys. Okay, let's see Salvador Bernal. Present. Thank you. Josma Natilio. Josma. Okay, there you are. Sure, sorry. It's okay, no worries. Kevin Alexander. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson. Okay. Oscar Alexis. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Teacher present, sorry. I have trouble with my internet. It's okay, Nelson. I already checked your attendance, no worries. Thank you. Okay, Rafael Alexander. Okay, Ricardo Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Eh, Sifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. And Andrea Yamilet. Present. Excellent. Okay, did I mention everyone this time? Yes? Maybe I didn't hear you. Oh, no worries, Oscar. I already checked your attendance. Okay, no worries. Okay. okay, pretty good. Now, guys, I already have your answers over here. Um, let's see. I can see some paragraphs with 10 sentences, and I can see some paragraphs that are a little bit shorter. I think that because of the time, we are not going to be able to read all of them, but let's read some of them, okay? I'm not going to share the names, so it's going to be anonymous. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. But listen, I'm going to read all of them, okay? I love reading, so believe me, I will. Okay, I have this one. This paragraph is a little bit short. It's only like five lines, but fine. Um, I need a volunteer. Who wants to read it? Volunteer, please. Volunteer for reading? Me, teacher. Thank you, Boris. Go ahead. For the song, for me, song of the advantage of okay, the so economy. I'm going to try to do it bigger so you can see it better. Okay, 
Go ahead. Okay. For me, some of the adventures of Ecom e Ecomens are I can search for things at any time, uh, 24 7. I, I can find Five. low price. Low price lower than prices. traditional store, mm -hmm. lower price than traditional store. I can buy product from any anywhere in the in the world. In the world and the last one buy in Asian and pass. Mm, okay. But this as but this type of the store at some desires disadvantages disadvantages and disadvantages and some of the of them are the following the platform can go can go down and you lose time and money it is very difficult it's very difficult to lo loyally the customer and sometimes your purchase can be loved and the achievement. Okay, very good. So very good advantages, very good disadvantages that this classmate explained. Very good. Now, little details that we have to consider talking about grammar. For example, what happens if I have the modal can what happens with the verb it's in base form yes remember guys that after a modal the verb is always on the base form in this case the platform can go down, go down. that's the one okay now let's see uh, okay in this case it is very difficult to loyalty the customers. In this case, remember that loyalty is a, basically a noun. And if we have the preposition to, basically we can add a verb. So a good idea for this sentence, it will be like to keep, okay? To Catch. keep <laughs> uh -huh, the customer's loyalty, all right? So far, so good. I like the punctuations. That is great because added commas, points, capital letters, lowercase when it's needed. So, so far, so good. Very good job. Excellent. Now, um, unfortunately, because of the time, I cannot read right now here in the class all of them. But I can see that already 18 people send the answers so i hope that everybody do that please remember guys that these kind of activities count as participations in the class okay now easy or difficult writing what do you think it's too hard it's hard and you guys what do you think which one is more difficult for you writing or speaking writing for me, what is... why? Listening. <laughs> <laughs> Listening. Okay. But. Uh -huh. <laughs> but for me. <laughs> Both. All right, but Both. listen. I know that when you are writing, you have more time to think. That is something that can be a little bit easier. However, you have to be careful with the spelling. Both are important, guys. So we need to practice both. Okay, well, we don't have more time, guys. Now, remember that at the end of every class, I will always have a winner that has to stay here in the class and I'm going to have a conversation with that person. I mean, it's a quick conversation, like five minutes maybe, okay? So the winner for today is Amanda. So Amanda, you are the first winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you have to stay here in the class, please? The rest of you guys, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for being in the class. Have a good night and see have you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.
Mm -hmm. Only Amanda stays pleased. Later. Good the night. rest of you go to Good sleep. Night. Good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay, Amanda, let's start because these classmates, they are listeners, so I think that that's why they are still here, <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay, Amanda, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Very good. And how was your vacation? I didn't have vacation, so... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my I gosh. Get, I get to work through the, the week. Uh, because I'm working on, I, I'm work on a non-governmental organization. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and specifically, we have a lot of events uh, to do. Okay. Uh, we have um, three workshops in oh. September on Antigua, Guatemala. So we are the the focal point of the logistical. And this okay. is a lot of work. I imagine yeah. that. So, so no vacations for you. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's a, a special uh, occasion, ah. not the, the usual. Okay, pretty good. Well, Amanda, this little meeting is just to talk to you and clarify some questions that you may have about the class, about the program, about the platform. And in this moment, I, I'm here to answer your questions and help you with a topic that you may have doubts. So this is your moment. <laughs> yes, I have I have been the check the the platform. Mm -hmm. So at the first one, we have the unit one e-commerce. And the first step is an a video conference conference. Uh-huh. Uh, but is this uh trying to re redirect to Zoom? Is this class or I need to get any video about. Oh, no, it's a basically, guys, they up upload the video. In this case, guys, if the video doesn't appear there, it's because it hasn't been uploaded. So, oh, in, okay. so in this case, don't worry, you can skip that one and you can go directly to the first uh, exercise, the one point. Oh, okay, I don't see that forget the answers in this case yeah because they haven't uploaded the video yet okay okay, okay. great yeah uh, and the homework is for tomorrow or we have homework a uh, uh, weekly homework ah okay in this case is weekly remember that okay. basically we have four units so my recommendation is this we are in the unit number one so let's start working in the unit number one. Every Friday, I upload the scores. So for example, every Friday, I will verify that you already finished each unit. Unfortunately, we started the week um, on Wednesday, right? Yeah. So I will upload the progress that you have on Friday, but if you haven't finished the unit number one on Friday, you can have the weekend. Because okay. as I said, we started in the middle of the week, so I will yeah. give you like two more awesome. extra days for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And another one. Um, about the PDF, is, is I5? Is the, the same... Uh, it's the same resource that we learn, we read in the classroom about the unit one, for example. We need to fill the activities there or? Well, basically um, that is the manual. And some oh, of okay. the exercises that I have in the class, I take them from the manual and some other exercises um, that appears on the manual are the exercises that you will find on the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah. basically, the ones that you have to resolve, for example, when we have an activity here in the class, it's necessary to do it, but I will explain that we are going to do it here in the class. So you can do it in your notebooks or in the manual, you decide. And the other exercises that we don't do in the class are the ones that you are going to find on the platform. Okay, mm -hmm. I have some old stuff, uh, for example, the books. <laughs> now and, that's good. Oh, let, let me uh, get out with the blur. Okay. Okay. 
So I ah, nice. No, That's great. Right. Right. Good. Yeah, oh, I can see it can now. See yeah. Okay. So I I try to write the answers because I want to improve my skills about writing. Uh, writing. Mm -hmm. And I have no chance chance to practice my English before my actual work. Okay. My actual job. Sorry. So, and I have a lot of uh, I don't know how to say vacíos. Backgrounds or um, lack. Yeah, yeah. I I have a lot of backgrounds on my vocabulary and my grammar because mm -hmm. I, I usually started the the English classes. And after that, I leave before any and special, oh. uh, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. so, okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, I was uh, improved and learning uh, by my or through my words mm -hmm. and the need of to do my task. <laughs> But I want to, I want to feel, I really want to improve my English because I, I think I have a lot of opportunities. Actually, in this organization, they are a United States based. So you have so, to practice a lot. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a really a challenge for me. It is. So that's great because you want to learn. That's excellent. And what you are doing is great. You are participating in the class. You are taking notes. That's excellent. Yeah. So um, some of your classmates decided just to take the screenshot. That is the easiest one. But if you want to write it, I think that is better because you are I writing. Know, because if I have any screenshot, I just forget it. Uh, it's at the end of the class. I know. I, know. I, I know. have a lot of screenshots. <laughs> I never see You never again. check again. Yeah. Yes. So in that case, Amanda, please, every time that I have the presentation, if you haven't finished to copy, please let me know. So I can wait for you. There's no problem. Oh, okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Because sometimes when everybody takes the screenshot, they say, I'm done, finished, you can move. And I do it. But now that I know that you are writing, please always let me know when you're done so I can change the slide. Okay. Thank you. You're Great very job. welcome. <laughs> All right. Pretty good, Amanda. I don't know if you have any other question or comments before leaving. I don't know. I'm, I'm delighted with the class. Uh, really, I, I need it. this. Uh, and the, the guys are really uh, friendly. And yes, they are. You are really uh, patient and... Um, have a lot of the skills of <laughs> Thank communications. You. I I gra I take for granted some uh, some skills of the the teachers, but you are more like friendly, and I like this. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad that you feel, feel comfortable something. in the class. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Amanda, I am pretty sure that you will improve your English skills because I know that you are willing to learn. So we are going to stop here because it's pretty late and I know that you want to rest, cool. but we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Great. See you Excellent. tomorrow. Thank See you, you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.